Operation Sea Lion was Nazi Germany's codename for the plan for an invasion of the United Kingdom during the Second World War. The Tauchpanzer or diving tank, also referred to as the U-Panzer, was a standard Panzer III tank with its hull made completely waterproof by sealing all sighting ports, hatches and air intakes with tape or cork. The gap between the turret and hull was sealed with an inflatable hose, while the main gun mantlet, commander's cupola and radio operator's machine gun were given special rubber coverings. Once the tank reached the shore, all covers and seals could be blown off via explosive cables, enabling normal combat operation. Fresh air for both the crews and engine was drawn into the tank via an 18 meter long rubber hose to which a float was attached to keep one end above water surface. A radio antenna was also attached to the float to provide communication between the tank crews and the transport barge. The tank's engine was converted to be cooled with seawater and the x hose pipes were fitted with overpressure valves. Any water seeping into the tank's hull could be expelled by an internal bilge pump. Navigation underwater was accomplished using a directional compass or by following instructions radioed from the transport barge. Experiments conducted at the end of June and early July 1940 near Wilhelmshaven showed that the submersible tank functioned best when they were kept moving along the seabed as, if halted for any reason, they tended to sink into the seabed and remain stuck there. Obstacles such as underwater trenches or large rocks tended to stop the tanks in their tracks and it was decided for this reason that they should be landed at high tide so that any mild tanks could be retrieved at low tide. Submersible tanks could operate in water up to a depth of 15 meters. The idea was for the tanks to be taken close to the British coast on specially adapted ships and then lowered into the sea. They would then drive along the seabed before emerging on the invasion beaches. The design was tested in August 1940 and again in the autumn of the same year and proved to be a success, but it would never be used against its intended target. A total of 186 Tauchpanzer III were produced by converting a range of existing types. In June 1941, operating with the Panzer Regiment 18 of the 18th Panzer Division, they were used to coast the River Bug at the Operation Barbarossa. After that, they were used as normal tanks. It was also planned to use Tauchpanzers in the never realized invasion of Malta. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.